Hello and welcome to Wannabe Homemaker. My name is Tiara and in today's video I'm going to be decluttering and organizing the closet in my children's playroom. Here is what it looks like right now. It is completely disorganized. In this um, area I have a lot of crafting supplies, paint, and activities for the kids to do. And here are the clothes. <laughs> wow, there's always something falling down in this closet, which is why I need to do this today. <laughs> so hopefully this video will help give you some motivation to tackle those out of control areas in your home and we can clean along together. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is of course take everything out and I think I'm going to begin with taking everything from this section out first. So let's get started on that. Oh my gosh, things are already falling down. Okay. If you are joining me right now, I just wanna say thank you. And I wanna ask if you would consider subscribing if you like content like this. So here's everything that was on that shelf in the closet, except for that poster right there. My husband just wants to keep it. And of course he doesn't know where to put it. So we're gonna leave it there. So it is honestly worse than I thought. I don't really have a plan. So we're gonna have to figure this out together. And I guess I thought dumping everything out of the bin was a good plan. So that's what I did. And now I am putting all the paint together. I'm putting the paint in a bin because I want to be able to close it so that it's not as accessible to my two children. They say it always gets worse before it gets better. So, um, I'm going to have to trust the process on this one. <laughs> I have all these little things to pick up from the floor now. Okay. So I'm picking up all of the beads and balloons and things of that nature that I threw on the floor and organizing them in a bin so that they are all grouped together. I have a lot of things that I purchased that I just have not used, like this Melissa and Doug calendar. Oops, it's upside down <laughs> to practice, you know, the days of the year and you know the days of the week etc and all of these educational posters that i have not used but okay i'm gonna try to use them this upcoming year because my child will be in kindergarten and i am homeschooling i just have to figure out a place for them and i actually have a lot of educational materials that i printed out from the computer that i need to go through and probably just throw away because i'm not using them and I need to organize a lot of these crafts that my child did. It's so hard to throw away things that my child has drawn or made for me because they're so special. But the problem is that I just don't have room to keep all of them. So what do you guys do with all of the drawings and things that your child has collected over the years? So right here, I have a small pile that I thought I could keep from last year. I just need to figure out where to put them. And right here, I realize that I have a lot of games and crafting materials, art supplies that I need to take in the children's room to organize. The amount of things we have in here that need to be organized is endless. <sighs> and here are all the things that I collected from the kitchen that I now need to find a place for. <laughs> so here I am putting these games in the closet. Thankfully they fit. <laughs> and now I am going to separate all of the crayons and colored pencils, markers from one another so that I can organize them better so that they're easier to find for my children because yeah, having them all just jumbled up in this bin is not working for us. And now I'm just gonna continue to grab anything I can find on the floor and find a home for it and also throw away trash. <laughs> and while I finish tidying up, I want to take a moment to check in with you and ask, how are you doing? How is your week going so far? 
have your children start at school if you do have children. Um, my kids started school on Monday. I now have a kindergartner and we homeschool so he's still with me throughout the day but <laughs> it's still exciting and that's going well so far. It's a bit tiring but it's good. Today we went on a hike with a nature group and the children swam in a creek. It was actually my both of my children's first time swimming in creeks so that was fun <laughs> and that's not really what I want to talk about what I want to talk about I guess is about self-care like how do you guys take care of yourself because if you're a mom if you're a wife you, you know you're a homemaker whether you work or not I mean if you do work that is you know even more add it to your plate so what do you do to maintain your sanity um yeah i get asked this question by my family members and i really don't have an answer i feel like i really don't do anything maybe youtube is a form of self-care <laughs> i don't know but we are physical spiritual um emotional beings and so what do you do to take care of your physical self your spiritual health, your emotional health, your mental health. I left that out. So what do you guys do? I'm trying to think. I, I literally don't know what I do to take care of myself. Hmm. What are some ideas? Write it down in the comments. Because it's so important for us because we wear so many hats. And so if we're not pouring into ourselves, then how can we you know, give to others. I know that's kind of cliche to say and people always say, oh, how are you going to pour from your cup if your cup is not filled? But it's it's a legitimate statement or saying, hmm, something to think about for me. Yay, so now I got the top shelf all organized and now I need to take out all of the clothes from the bins and from on top of the bins and everything out of the bottom half of the closet, clean it all out. So here I go, taking everything out and gotta put it back in, which is not fun, <laughs> but it's necessary. We could do this. I just keep telling myself that. I can't believe how much junk I stuffed in the closet. <laughs> wow, and how many bags of clothes that I had down there. It was enlightening, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, I took everything out the closet. Oh, and here it all is on the floor. I'm trying to get a good angle to show you. <laughs> and now it's time to put everything back in the closet. I'm trying to show you that I found these bins from the Dollar Tree. They help you organize your drawers. And so I thought these were really neat and they were only a dollar, so that's perfect. And they fit perfectly into this um, plastic organizer. And I also have a tan one too. So I'm so happy. I think I can put these warm pajamas away for now and then um, bring them back out during the colder months because he doesn't like to sleep in warm pajamas anyways, so. I could not believe how many warm pajamas, and by that I mean long-sleeved and pant pajamas that he had <laughs> that I needed to put away. So I ended up having two bags of warm winter pajamas for my five-year-old that I needed to put away and a one small bag of warm pajamas for my two-year-old that I need to put away. So I actually have a lot of bags here. <laughs> stuff 
Here's more bags of clothes that I need to put in the storage bins. I have like totes of clothes, surplus clothes, like winter clothes and fall clothes that I have for my kids. And so I need to put these in there. Oh my goodness. So I went through the clothes that I put on the floor and I actually ended up having more clothes that needed to go away in the totes. So I have six bags that I'm going to take now. Okay, so here are the totes that I store their clothes in and I have them labeled here like shoes, if you can see that, I don't know, kids shoes and different things probably on the other side. So I'm going to put the clothes and extra shoes where they go for the most part, we'll see. So to be honest, I actually just put the bags of clothes on top of the totes. I know, I'm so bad, but eventually I'm gonna get to organizing that as well. <laughs> and so now I'm just finishing tidying the room. I am almost done, I'm so excited. Ah, uh, the end is near. Here is this side now. Just remember how it looked before, guys. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> So in this bin, I have some of my crafting supplies in there. And in this bin, I have paint and like fabric pens that I don't want the kids to have access to per se. Here I have some paper that they can use. Here I have some art supplies, like some colored pencils, some paint brushes in there, some extra markers, and some extra like, oop and some extra school supplies in there. So that's what that's looking like. And oh my gosh, I can open it now without things falling out, I'm so proud. It is not, you know, it's not perfect, but that's not what I'm going for. What I'm going for is functional and better than it was before. And here are the drawers. I still have so many clothes to fold. So these bins will be filled up once I get everything folded and they can go in their proper place. Thank you so much for Yay. watching. See you next time.